hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is claudia or the afro italian though and i make content ranging from music marketing videos vlogs lifestyle and fashion so today i just wanted to do like a kind of a chit chat explaining how i started my first business at 19 while at uni uh funny enough it wasn't really like oh i had this idea of what i actually wanted to do to be honest it was more like i had to do an assessment for one of my events management modules so i was like oh i actually enjoy doing this so i'm actually gonna start creating events and doing promotion and stuff so the module was created on you having to create a fake or like actual real life events back in uh, 2018 i think it was uh they didn't really give us any guidelines they just said oh you need to break even um no they didn't even say that you need to break even they just said you just need to make it happen basically and then just write a proposal and a report on how it went how much money you made and all of this stuff like what the artwork was of the flyer and all of this stuff so the first thing i thought to myself i was like okay i've been to a lot of gigs i've been to a lot of events and i think i can do this myself i don't think it was that hard um i literally got in touch with all my friends because they were all like musicians and stuff so i got in touch with all my friends and funny enough i didn't even do it on purpose they were all female i forgot to mention in the video that basically my business model is showcasing women in the music industry and showcasing their music no matter if it's just singers they can be producers they can be dj and that basically became my business module after my first few events and uh yeah uh back to the video um the world goes and i was like okay cool guys i have this uh this event i need to put on are you guys free i i, I directed them i gave them like a general date on when the event was gonna be and then i started being in search of venues that i really liked and i remembered that one of my friends had a really really nice event like sat down event in um in pizza's press in king road in king's road i don't know if you guys have ever been to pizza's press it's like sometimes they have live music because when they have a stage and stuff and they have different uh, artists coming on and you pay like the ticket fee for the artist and then you pay for your pizza separately uh, which is like a really nice atmosphere because like you're watching like nice live music and then eating like all right pizza to be honest <laughs> um, so i got in touch with pizza's press uh management i'm a student and i'm trying to like um put on this gig for charity blah 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 because i wanted to give the money to a local charity next to my in my area in dagenham so they were like okay we have this space free because i wanted the pizza express in holborn because my head was just thinking big already i was like i want the biggest venue <laughs> i was like, i want the biggest venue why would you like no nah, i wanted the pizza express in holborn like one of the most busiest one i was like I'm ready to have that one blah blah and then the lady was like oh i think you should have the one in king's road like it's more a bit more intimate and it would work a bit more and that uh, you know all of that stuff so i was like okay cool no problem so since i've been already to the one in uh, king king uh, king's road i don't even need to see the venue i know how it is how the lighting is and how big the stage was so i told all my girls that were playing the musicians that oh it's going to be uh, like acoustic small acoustic gigs and then i think i told two of them to bring like a full band so like bass guitar and all of that jazz then the second stage after i found the venue i found the musicians the second stage now was to create like the promotion slash marketing to the people first thing i thought i was like, okay cool i'm gonna share on social media and since i go to music college a lot of people were like creating flyers I never knew anything about flyers or anything and I was like, oh, okay, um, I see like they create flyers with the day, the artwork, uh, the names of the musicians and um, and the logo of like the organization that created this. So I want I want to do the same thing. So the next thing was thinking about the team, the theme of the, the event. So I was thinking, oh, okay, all the ladies that are playing are all black women. I was using the name of like an album to give a title to all my event so that was really random i sit at the table from solange i don't know if you guys have ever heard of it oh my god it's a great album you should go and listen it's actually like magnific um 
so it literally worked perfectly i sit at the table the van was actually sat down on the table great black woman singing perfect I wanted the plier to stand out because that was that was one of the things that they were teaching on back in during the model in uh, the events management model was that make sure your flyers stand out make sure that your flyer has a meaning to it and make sure that everything use bold characters so like for example bold characters for the date bold characters for the location and not for the date the name of the event and also sometimes the location is quite important so people can see already like the postcode and stuff and then since i was selling i wasn't selling the ticket privately pizza express was helped put the event on the the flight on the booked flyer and also they put the event on their website so i just had to send people to pizzaexpress.com um to buy the tickets so then after all the flyers were printed i had a digital version of the flyer and, and the actual printing i think for the printing i spent like 25 pound for like 50 copies then i shared the the flyer all over my uni i shared the flyer around the venue i shared the flyer around king's road i was i was going a bit wild i think i shared the flyer even just around fulham and mcdonald's and everything because i was like i need to break even because if i don't make money like i would have to pay the money for the venue which was like 200 pounds without vat but they didn't charge me vat because it was a charity event um so i need to make all my money back i need to make sure i break even to pay the venue and then whatever else is made is going to the charity so after all of these things were created i had to make my calculation properly as i as i just mentioned so to make my calculation properly and break even i think i needed to sell 25 tickets for seven pounds uh, which a lot of students were complaining about but I was like I need to break even I don't have a choice so <laughs> like if you want to come you spend the eight pounds or not or you spend you spend the seven or eight pounds and then I even did a bit of research on how much the tickets should actually cost because I think the tickets at first was five pounds and then the lady because she was a bit guiding me she was the fresh she's actually like the mom of one of my friends um she was actually guiding me telling me i don't think you're actually gonna make enough money if you sell the tickets only for five pounds it's gonna go sold out so quickly and you're just gonna be able to make um like you're only gonna be able to uh, sell out the venue and that's that so the whole venue had i think maybe like 60 to 70 seats and your girl fully sold out i was shocked um because so many people walk through the door uh, people that i didn't know which i was really glad about and then people that i actually knew so my friends family and uh, people from my college people from my uni and and i think in total i made like maybe for 500 or 600 pounds in total i think and then the rest went to charity and then i was able to pay the 200 to the venue uh so i think the charity got like i don't remember now because this was like low-key a long time ago I paid the venue with the rest the night went so smoothly i think i was so stressed out and i was just shaking and i was oh my god this is this doesn't work so one advice i would give to you guys if you are thinking to start an event business is just calm your nerves um have a couple of drinks which i've learned after have a couple of drinks before like learn actually how like learn to enjoy it because at the first two or three events i really didn't enjoy them or even knew what was going on because i was so like into making sure everything was on time because one thing i didn't want to be labeled as is oh black people's event are always late african time african time you know black people's timing and that was one of the things that i literally wanted not to happen so i was like everything everyone needs to be on time everyone needs to like even if it's an empty even if the seats were empty i think the seats were empty kind of at the beginning because like the event was starting at like something at like 7 30 and i had five singers which were a lot for the time frame but i was like i don't care i love these singers and i all want them to sing in on this stage then something else i would really need you guys to take in accountability is um does your artist have like a big following so are they going to bring people to the event second of all does your is your artist actually any good don't put on artists that are not good i'm just sorry i need to tell you the facts like if they're not good don't book them like it's really as as it is then something else i would advise you to is the lineup is key you actually need to be so 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 meticulous and so particular with how you like position your lineup so if depends on what kind of sort of event it is so if it's like 
a throughout mellow event maybe have it like from level up level down level up level down if it's like an event that you start from like a really small artist to the big artist then that's on the way or you can have events where like it goes like really good artists opening and then you have another artist that is all right and then you have like another good artist and then you have another artist that's all right and then you have the great artist like the headliner at the end or i literally experiment with all the one i literally experiment all these different ways because i depending on who i was booking i was like, okay i need to make sure that this person goes on first this person goes on last uh, and stuff like that usually how i do it is if the people that have full band usually are going last and then people that have usually acoustic have in the uh, in the beginning or sometimes are even in the middle so as i said to level the balance up and down throughout the whole event something else you need to take accountability of is you need to be really sure of the date that you're putting on your event so make sure there is no other events going on do your research then another thing that i've really realized and if you go clubbing a lot you you realize that really good events are usually at the very beginning of the month or on payday if you go to Afrobeats event or like um, you know Caribbean Afro Caribbean event, you really notice that the events are at the beginning or at the end because people have money at that time. People don't have money to be spending like you know 20 30 pounds on one night just because like they want to go out some people do but like as a student i knew my target audience that wouldn't have money in the middle of the month as i did at the time so i had to make sure that uh, my events were always in the middle or like literally maximum the second week after payday that's what i would do maximum and um with my second event that's where i low-key like um, let me say effed up because my event was literally like a week before payday so no one was free uh, no one had money first of all because i knew because everyone was complaining about the price the ticket price um I'll, I'll insert some clips around on how those went uh then i of course didn't break even that happens with all event promoters all event organizers i, I literally i think i lost with my second event um <coughs> earth satellite i think i lost to 500 pounds it was actually a joke um i was really sad because <laughs> i think the venue was really expensive first of all second of all the venue was far the venue was so far from like you know central london it was really south south london and the venue actually didn't bring any customer itself so it's another thing you really need to make sure like make sure like the bar or the pub you're booking is an actual busy pub already and then so the people that are in there or go regularly know that live music is going on and they're not afraid to pay, to spend that 10 pounds to listen to some like to listen to a gig uh this was back in the day all after like all before all before the pandemic now I'm not really sure where we all stand, unfortunately. how to actually because this is just a little bit like very scattered on how i started uh if you want to know more in details on how to actually like write a business model for an event company and how to uh, write a marketing plan for it and all of this kind of stuff the budgets and all of that uh finances let me know in the comments down below and i'll make a video about it thank you for watching